Okay, part two of the Trent Mason saga starts right now. Dun, dun, uh, for dun. those of, uh, that was good. Uh, for those of you watching or listening, uh, there is a part one to this, and I highly recommend for people to tune into last week's episode, yeah, part one, to kind of get a nice overall picture of what we're going to be talking about and continuing to talk continuing about. Continuing to talk about, yeah. Um, we've got a few things to jump into today. Yeah, we're going to finish the car stolen saga story yeah as well as you had some questions to ask me from last week that we didn't get to CC. as well as what'd you say oh cc yes yes cc uh that's the spanish yes yes oh yes okay sorry okay great um <laughs> you just asked me something which i have to bring to light right now cool you showed me your notebook correct yeah this is my notebook uh, I write stuff in here, ideas. I got this very recently, like two, three weeks ago. Okay. And what did you just ask me? So I wanted to see if you thought the title on it was, there's a subject and I wrote like a, a title and I put tax rebate there mm -hmm. because if I ever lost it, which I'm worried will happen, um, I didn't want someone to see it and be like, if I wrote Trent's great ideas, cause that's what it, what it really is. Um, people would want to steal that. Oh, great ideas. Let me read this. Let me take it home. But if I wrote something boring on it, like, I don't know, tax rebate, then they wouldn't want to take it and then they would just give it back to me. So I wanted to ask how good of a name do you think that was? And you didn't think it was great. No, because tax rebate implies that your social is probably in there. There's some, a lot of like identifying financial information mm. and that somebody who is actually a thief might be like, you know what? Let me take some of this stuff. What is a rebate? Do you know? Do we know? Um, a rebate? Yeah, what is a rebate? A tax rebate is what you get back. Like you pay too many taxes and you get it back. Oh, no. Is that That's correct, everybody, right? Before I – yeah, yeah, okay. So I should change this to what then? What's like super boring? Journal. Hmm. That's kind of what it is a little bit though. Yeah. But then I'm – if I – maybe I should take my name off of it. Well, I need my name on it. Hey, man. Okay. You have a – you have a guardian angel for sure looking after you. So it doesn't matter about the notebook. Uh, you know what? It'll just be fine. Just keep it close. Are you just leaving it willy-nilly? No, 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 no. But, I mean, at some point, especially, like, by the time it gets full, yeah, there's, it's, you're going to leave it somewhere at some, you know? What? You're going to leave it somewhere. You always lose a notebook. Okay. I, I don't, but that's fine. You don't like you like at a coffee shop. You go to you bring this to a coffee shop, let's say, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, and you just leaving it on the table. It's here. I could accidentally leave it here. You know what I'm saying? Like it it could, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But in the future, at some point, throughout the pages, you always yeah. lose a notebook. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Tax quick, uh, quick, uh, quick thing before we continue the story from last week. Yeah. Uh, our past intern Zeke Duhan. He's been doing good. He's been sober for okay. a while now. Still going strong. Congratulations, Zeke. Yeah, and he's coming in uh, sometime in the fall, and we're trying to get him. You know, he wants to come back on the show, and we're still thinking about it, honestly. Yeah. Okay. We, um, he left uh, very, you know, immediately, and I'll be honest with you, I'm still, I'm still kind of like hurt by that, I guess is a good word, hurt. Yeah. Uh, betrayed, mm. uh, angry. Oh. Uh, maybe even addictive sometimes. So we're still all talking about it as a team. And I know he listens to every single episode. So we're still trying to figure out if our past intern Zeke is going to be allowed back on when he comes to visit California. And, and, and honestly, I'd love to get you guys' opinion. Do you feel like he, you, you'd like to see him again, Alex? I mean, he lost an arm in a farming accident. So I would True. love to see how he's handling that. True. Yeah. And do you think these court cases are going to go well? How, how, how are these going to go? Yeah. Um, I think he'll pass. I think I think maybe a fine, but I don't mm. think there's gonna be any jail time. Yeah, yeah. But Peyton, I think he's going away for life. <laughs> if I'm being honest, mm. I just think the evidence it, it just all adds up. I think it's pretty damning. It is very against damning. Him. So yeah. I like I would love to have Zeke on the show, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I I, I, I fair fair. I, some of the videos he's. Uh, you know, the stuff that he's been in trouble for is on YouTube. They're actually on some fail compilations as well. Oh, like wow. The, 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 the driving incident, uh, the, the attack on the, the people. So we'll see. We'll see if he comes back on or not, honestly. So God willing, he will. Well, there you go. Yeah. Great. So quick little recap uh, before we go into our commercial break. Wrong, one question real quick. What is recap short for something? Recap? Uh, 
recapture Shit. recapture yeah. yeah okay nice uh, i'm assuming it's recapture nice yeah. it's re- how old are you man i forget to ask 20 20 just okay. 20 young buck yeah young buck making big bucks are you really no okay <laughs> it's just a bar it's just the bar you know like off a, the dome off the dome top dome yeah dome. yeah okay um so <laughs> <laughs> oh boy so we have uh from last week's episode quick recap for everyone i'm just going to give them a quick rundown the first story you told is how you got into a car with mm-hmm. a stranger who was trying to sell you quote unquote AirPods Pros. Yes, uh, second generation. Second generation AirPods Pros for a really good deal. Uh, you got in the car with this stranger and you met him at a stoplight while on your run. Yes. As you were doing a character for a TV show or a for, project, excuse yeah. me, for a project. Uh, you ended up having to go to an ATM or trying to go to an ATM and he ended up giving you fake jewelry which you thought was real. Another uh, story, is, and the main one, is about your stolen car. Your stolen car that that you found a, a gentleman inside, yeah. and uh, a, you, you, he ends up stealing the car. A year goes by, you find it, you lose it, you find it again, you get it, you try to clean it out, and there's a bunch of bugs, and uh, the person who cleans it, you're like, great, it's cleaned. You come back to it, there's mold. There's mold everywhere. Everywhere. It's disgusting Prius. It's a disgusting Prius is where we left off. And that was as much as I could handle for it's now. A, it's a Nissan Sentra, actually. Oh, I swear to God, I thought it was a Prius the whole time. I don't so. think we talked about the thing. Why did I what think it was looked? a Prius? Maybe that's just... Oh, I know why. There was another homeless guy story from another podcast. Somebody let a homeless guy sleep in their car too, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. From one of these pod, like on no, here? no, 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 no. Another here. podcast. Okay. He ended up letting the homeless guy sleep in there. Yeah. Okay. So, I like whoever that is. Okay. Well. <laughs> um. So let's start off again. How are we on time before the commercial break? We're good. Okay. Great. Okay. Cool. This this will this will end this will end it all. This is all the information I have. All right. Here we go. It's not that much. So the car is covered in mold. Okay. It's it's just, it's nasty. I haven't even been looking at it. I, I told a few people about this, uh, this story. And one of these people was a friend named Denny Love. He's a comedian. Shout out to Denny Love. And, uh, my, fr- and my friend Ty as well. He's a camera guy for Denny Love. And... When I told them this, they were like, oh, man, that's crazy. I, uh, I, Denny, also had a car that was stolen twice, and I got it back twice. And it's, uh, yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. So he was like, yeah, I, I mean, it's crazy. I, I have it still downstairs. It, it's like the windows cracked as, you know, people tried to bro- broke into it and stole it. Um, but, yeah, I just got to get that fixed so denny then got a new car mm. got a new car denny has a, a a tesla now you know you you know about the tesla game and uh yeah he was like huh after hearing my story mm-hmm. you know what we talked to ty and uh he was like let's let's give trent this old car because his car was was stolen got it back but then the mold you know i used this car when i was growing up coming up in la and you know grinding the comedy scenes and all that and now maybe it's meant i got it back twice stolen i got it back twice maybe it's meant to give to trent so denny and ty gave me this car this was a kia a kia soul i'm i'm living Right? Wow, that's great. Congrats. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, shout out shout out to What are the names? Guys. Danny Soul and Denny Denny. No, Denny Love. Denny Denny. Love. Denny. Denny Love yeah. and Ty. And Ty. No last name. Great. Um <laughs> Ty the cameraman. Ty the cameraman. Yeah, um so yeah, they gave me this car. Mm-hmm. And this was this is a huge blessing. 
I, I get the window fixed. They're like, we'll give it to you. Well, real quick. Yeah. We're going to continue the story. Sorry to cut you off. We've got to go on a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Let's do it. And we're back. Go ahead. So I get the car. They're like, we'll give you this car. Uh, all you got to do is just like fix the window. That's the only thing that really needs fixing. Yeah. And um, the, the steering column a little bit is messed up a little bit from the previous steals. But you can still, you know, start it and get to where you need to go. You can get that fixed whenever you need. Um, just make sure, you know, the doors are locked and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I fixed the window, and now we got a freaking car. I'm driving around. I I, uh, I get home. I, I actually, the same night, have to leave for a flight that I'm doing some comedy shows in Atlanta. This was, like, a month or two ago. Mm -hmm. And... So yeah, I'm like, this is great. I'm gonna park it in my uh, my parking garage. My building has a parking garage. Uh, park it in there, park it on the bottom floor, just in case, uh, you know, just, I don't know. I just park it in the bottom floor. It's the furthest away from the the exit. And I just thought it would be a safe, the safest place to put it. Um, do these Atlanta shows. I come back, the car is gone. Car is gone. The car is gone. What? The car was uh, stolen. Oh my gosh, dude! I was gone for three days. Uh huh. Car's gone. Th you haven't seen it? No. Oh my god! I don't think I've seen it. I mean, maybe I I saw it. Okay, but it's a Kia Soul, you said. It's a Kia Soul. If I'm not mistaken, Kias are very easy to steal. There was actually a whole thing with them. Yeah, yeah. A lot of easy. people told me that after the car was stolen nobody before nobody warning signals i mean the car was stolen twice before right but no one was specifically like kias are easy to steal i was like as long as i lock the door and park it in a safe place i'm good yeah no no, no. i'm sorry i was given a car and the same day mm -hmm. gone what are the chances? I was given a car. When does that happen? In LA? I was just given a car. Yeah. And I was so happy about it. It had Bluetooth and air conditioning. My last car did not have either of those things. And I was I was I was on cloud nine. I was telling my my mom and family about this. Oh, I was telling people in Atlanta about it who I didn't even know. I was just in Atlanta, like, yo, I got a car now. They're like, okay. And then I came back and didn't have a car question yeah uh did you file a police report so <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened so denny who who is the at the time the technical owner of the car he flew to australia also the same day mm -hmm. doing some comedy shows and you have to be with the person who owns the car. The person who owns the car has to file the report. You yeah. can't do it on the phone. You have to go in person, I, which I did. Okay. I went in person three times, I think. First person was like, well, you got to uh, just talk to the person. Then I talked to the person. I came back, and they were like, yeah, no, the person needs to be here. I'm like, well, the person is in Australia right now. They're going to be there for a couple weeks. So we just, I just got to get this file. They just gave it to me. They were like, well, maybe if you um, get a notary, notarized document. And I'm like, what? And they're just like, yeah, it's a notarized document. Then I came back talking about, okay, how do I get this notarized do document? They were like, you can't do a notarized document. Like, it's a different person each time. Can't do a notarized document. So I just had to wait for Danny to come back after two weeks. So it is now filed but it took at least two weeks to get it filed. But it's filed. The police report is filed. Okay, so it's filed. I think. Am I, am, he said no, it wasn't filed in the beginning, right? Yeah, because at the time it wasn't filed. There, there's a story to mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know suspense. I'm not crazy. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, He's giving... Yeah. The, okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right, cool. But police reports don't do shit anyway. I don't know why you're up and up it's about not. file yeah. police report. Nothing's it's, gonna Nothing's happen. happening. I, I, am, I am aware that the Los Angeles Police Department, you know, their detectives aren't on this case right now. 
Yeah. I, I get that. However, if the car is found for insurance purposes, for any kind of financial uh, bad things that might happen, you, you're, you've covered yourself. Does that make sense? For instance, if that car is used in a crime, mm -hmm. right? they Fair can't enough. be like, well, Trent, you're a suspect. Nah, Denny Love's gonna be in trouble. <laughs> right. right, but like he's not. Everything's all. You, know, you yeah, see what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Everything's yeah, yeah, all yeah. right here. I'm trying. Yeah. Um, I'm so angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I still don't have a car. So no car right now. Third car stole. Second car stolen. Mm -hmm. In two years that I've been out here. Okay. Yeah. Can I? Can I, I? I thank you for first of all for sharing all this. I think these are good uh, stories for people to listen to, not just for entertainment, and but to for learn. To learn yeah. exactly. So I wanted to let you know about some scams that are happening, <laughs> so that you don't waste years of your life or something bad happens to you. Okay. And one of these things not only happened to me, but happened for our, to our good friend of mine and of the show, Jordan Matlock. Okay. So if you're ever in an accident, and this is becoming more and more well known, a lot of times you get into an accident, the person you got into an accident with is part of a scam. What's the scam? Let's say you run into them because they do something illegal with their car, they make a left turn when they're not supposed to, mm. or blah, blah, blah. You guys pull over, or there's a hit and run, and then you pull over, and you're like, what the heck? And then another car comes along and goes, hey, I saw the whole thing. I'll um, I'll be a witness for the police statement. Let me take down your information. Mm. And because you're in a state of like, oh, you just got an accident, right? Yeah. Everything's kind of like, whoa, you know, you're not really thinking clearly. Yeah. You give them your information. And then all of a sudden you'll get a phone call because you've given them your phone number, right? Phone call from a number you don't recognize. You're like, hello? And it's like, hi, this is uh, A1 Towing. Uh, we noticed that your car just got into a car crash. We, uh, and it's showing that it's undrivable. Uh, we can come by and pick up your car uh, from its location. Mm. A lot of times newer cars have this. With mine, you know what they said? They said, uh, this is Tesla's automated roadside to service. We've noticed that your car got in an accident. We wanted to bring by a tow truck. I'm like, it's fine. It's uh, it's drivable. They're like, yeah, but sometimes the battery, uh, there's a cause for fire. And I'm like, uh, no, it's fine. I, I can drive it myself. It's fine. Yeah. That guy who gave me his information was like, hey, by the way, my 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 family owns like I, my cousin owns a uh, a, a shop, and we we work on Teslas and. You know, we can, like, give you guys a good deal and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, oh, uh, cool. He was being super friendly, super nice. And then something happened where, like, some red flags were coming up. And I was like, this is, wait a minute. They, they called me pretty quick after the accident. And then the lady I was in the accident with, um, she didn't want to engage with me anymore. And she did, like, something completely illegal. And I was like, wait a minute. Something's not right about this. And I was really angry. I was I was pretty pissed off because what she did was from the right-hand lane, she made a U-turn crossing over my left lane without no signal or anything. Okay. I text the guy keeps texting me. He's like, "Hey, I want to see if you want to take your uh, your car to my shop." Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, uh, I'm only going to certify Tesla places. Is your place certified? Because I looked up his shop, and it was a shop, but it's not Tesla certified. Mm. And he, he, I was like, can you send me, like, the certification that you guys are certified? And you know what he sends me? Terrible criminal up until this point. A very blurry picture of, like, certifications on a wall. Like something you would get off Google Images. Mm. Very low quality. Yeah. Stop responding to him after that point. And then his shop started calling me. Didn't answer any of the messages. Yeah. So here's the scam. Okay. Your car gets towed. And A, you never see it again. Just gone. Or B, they hold your car for ransom mm. at the shop. And you have to pay like an exorbitant amount of money to get it back. Right. Happened to my friend Jordan Matlock on a hit and run. Same thing that happened. 
to him. Somebody came up to him after somebody sideswiped his car. Wow. This person came up, and then we just saw a news uh, story on the news about it. So, if somebody's claiming to be a witness or whatnot, be very wary. Okay. Be very wary. Do not give them, like, don't give out your information immediately to them. Okay. Or at all, I think, for you. Okay? Okay. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to get this straight. So, yep. the person will say they're a witness. Yeah. And what would a witness normally do? What do you expect a witness to do? Uh, any type of, like, if, if it was a really bad accident, the police would come. Because it's not a bad accident, the police aren't coming. But if it's a really bad accident, a witness uh. would um, make a statement with the police officer. Okay. Of what they saw of the accident. Right. So, why would you need to give them your information anyways? Exactly. Like if you need to call them for insurance policy, like in, if the insurance company is asking, hey, are there any witnesses? It's like, yeah, I saw it. there's this one person. guy there, this person. But right. here's the thing. These people are like on standby waiting to hit people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So when they call, so they. Oh, OK, 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 OK. You give them your information because they're a witness. You can use them later for your insurance stuff. That's what usually that's what you, that's what that's you, that's what you normally normal think. Yeah. But the scam artist so the is... The scam person is just getting your information so they can get your number, fake like they're a tow place, hit you up, and then take your car. Exactly. Okay. Got it. Noted. So don't trust really the tow places. Well, not just all tow places. There are some legit tow places, but you have to be the one calling them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be yes. like... Oh, I have a AAA membership. Let me call the AAA number to get a tow truck out here. That is, tr and sometimes these tow truck companies are like on police scanners, mm -hmm. and will be like, "Oh, there's a big accident here. I'm going to show up as the tow truck driver." Oh, and then they'll just start taking. And they'll the just car. show up before anybody's called anything. They're like, "Oh yeah, I'll take your car." It's very sketchy. Be careful. A lot of scam artists out here. Did that happen to you too? No, I worked through a AAA guy. AAA guy. Okay. Yeah. It was just, uh, it was the shop we dropped it off at. He wanted to charge me a big fee for leaving it there for two days. And so we just gave him the car as payment. Because it was, it was basically totaled. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Yeah. It was like, it, basically, if we bought the car back, we'd have to turn around and pay him. Like, Damn. So we were like, car's yours. Whatever. That sucks, dude. Yeah. A lot of sketchy things happening. Yeah. Uh, any games you see on the street, you know, the ones where they have the balls. Yes. Right? Those. But, okay, so also I wanted to ask you about that. One, do you think the people who are doing the, oh, I'm a witness or whatever, you know, you saw this person, right? Mm -hmm. You saw them say, oh, I'm a witness. How was their acting? At the time, yeah, I was uh, seeing red. Right. Uh, my anger got the best of my sensibility. I said a lot of uh, insane words. <laughs> to the woman. Yeah, not my proudest moment. Okay, okay. To the helpless woman. No, she wasn't helpless. She okay, was a she was fucking dumb in a idiot and a criminal now that I realize that because she's part of this scam. Oh, she was part of it. They did the accident exactly. on purpose. Exactly. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I, I thought you were saying just the person who's coming up as a witness is a scammer, but no. they do it. They work in teams. No, 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 no. And I hope they get eaten alive by wolves. Okay. Yeah. I really mean that. Or hippos. <laughs> hippos are worse, man. Yeah, then I hope they get eaten alive by hippos, and <sighs> I, 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 I sincerely hope this from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. That it takes a long for time for them to die. Yeah. Yeah, because those are predatory people. Like, what if I was an old lady who didn't know any better? Or me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, yeah, if, or if, actually, I'd be very upset if somebody took advantage of you like that. Yeah, I would yeah. sincerely be very upset. Um, but no, I feel What's like- What's wrong I, with those people? Just bad people, man. Bad people. But, I mean, you also, I don't even know if you think that because, like, what do you mean just bad people? Like, why are they doing that, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like like the the cause and effect that needed to end up where they're at? Sure. There's a, a wide array of circumstances. 
but to be that calculated, calculating mm -hmm. in taking advantage of people, to actually plan it out and not have any empathy for the person you're stealing from. That is nuts. That is someone who lacks empathy, doesn't care about other people, only cares about themselves, and it's predatory behavior. So all that together, they're a bad person at that time. Right. Yeah. But what still, why are they doing that, you think? Like, what's something that money? would cause? Money. Yeah. So just someone who's, like, money hungry. Yeah. You asked the question similar to that last time. Like, why would somebody lie oh, about yeah. the iPod stuff? And yeah. And I'm like, yeah, money, man. People are very greedy people. Y yeah. But, like, sure, we, we want money, but we're not, like, doing that. Like, you know? Right, but you're not greedy. But they, what are they thinking, I'm guessing? I, I guess is my question. Like, they're not thinking, oh, I'm a greedy person. Let me go. No, they, they just want to get money. And that's how they think that, 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 that their best recourse is to get money. Mm. Some yeah. of them might even like it, too. Easy money, like taking candy yeah, from a baby. Yeah, it's easy money. It's, they don't want to work hard for it, so you take someone else who has worked hard for it. They're pieces of shit. Well, why do they think that's okay? But here's the thing. They don't care if it's okay or not. Mm. I'm talking about the majority of people. Yeah. So uh, I, don't, I do not wish them – I wish them maybe redemption. Maybe I hope that they find the light and they lead better lives and they stop doing what they're doing and they end up helping people. Of course I wish that for them. Yeah. But at the time when, sh when this person did this – it was such a ridiculous act in the car. And, and even for Jordan, he had his family in the car with him. And somebody sideswiped him. Do you know what kind of human being wouldn't care who's in the car, a baby, elderly, mm. family, whatever, and just to do that to another human being? Like, that's not a good person. you got to protect yourself. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you something stupid I did that I got scammed. Okay. Was it one of the car things on the, like, Yeah, Hollywood? it was in France. Whoa, I was joking. I was in college and I just, I, I put down a hundred euros and it was the stupidest thing I ever done in my life. I feel really embarrassed to this day that I fell for it. I don't understand what happened. So it's uh, one of those uh, tables that people set up on the streets and it's like uh, there's a ball oh. and the, they're switching it. Three and card I saw, Monty, I think it's called. Is that what it's called? Yeah. But there's no cards in it. Yeah, it's I think just this is what it's called. Okay. Anyway, uh, I saw somebody else win. And everybody got excited around. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my, okay, cool. I'll do it. And then, boom, lost it like that. And then here's the really bad part. <laughs> ah. I got a little confrontational. And then that's where things could have gone south really quick. What I should have done was gone. Got it. These are criminals. I should just walk away with my dignity. Uh, boy. I said, hey, I want my money back. And he's like, no. And the guy was huge. Yeah. And I got in his face. <laughs> and then he got in my face. And then he pulls his fist back. And I was like, oh, no, this is happening. <laughs> 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 the people around him, there starts to be a commotion because I think some of them were like, get the, let's just get the fuck out of here because other people started cleaning up their tables. Mm. And, then other per and I think other people were just shocked that I would even get in his face about it. Right. And they're like, do not like they were. I think they were talking to him in French. Like, don't. This is going to be much worse than it is if you if you hit the kid. Don't, don't. I mean, what? That was French for don't. Oh, got it. Um, <laughs> and he didn't end up hitting me. He just goes walks away, and I'm just like, fuck. Yeah, felt really stupid. I felt really really stupid. Wow. Yeah, they got me. Wow. Yeah. So don't ever play any of those games on the street. I I won't. I I did um. See, I, I saw a few, you know, on Hollywood Boulevard, they have a lot of people yeah. doing that. And I remember, like, just looking, and they're, they're terrible actors, though, because they have to, they have a fake person come up and win money first. So then you think, oh, well, I can do that. They just did it. And, but they, like, they suck. They, it, it was, like, clearly scripted. Oh, wow, I just won this, and this is all I had to do? <laughs> I'm going to do this again. And then they would do it again. And it was, like, so bad. And But I enjoyed watching that until they were like, oh, you should do it. And I was like, no, I'm good, I'm good, thanks. And they're like, no, do it, man. It's just, 
you just saw how much he won. You could win just as much, if not more. And it was just so bad. What if you were like, I know the scam. <laughs> oh, let's do that. No, no, those guys are dangerous. They're right, 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 right. You know, yeah. They're um, criminals. Yeah, exactly. Criminals. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> there are people out there who don't have as good intentions as you do. So you always got to remember that. As good as a person you are or you feel like your intentions are, mm. there are people on the other side of that spectrum who are, will do even worse things. Yeah, I guess maybe I'm trying to figure that out because even with the – um, like – we say say we were to play these people in uh, a role in a mm -hmm. movie or whatever, we can't be like, oh, these are just bad people. We have to we have to think what they're thinking, mm -hmm. and I want to know what they're thinking because no one's thinking, oh yeah, I suck. I'm a, I'm a I'm a terrible person. I'm gonna scam these. I mean, they might be thinking I'm gonna scam these people, but um, I still the the reason they they think they're good, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know what that is and I also I'm also thinking if, if they think they're good why would they do this this bad thing right so it's a, like part of it is a lack of empathy like what I going back to there's a disconnect from the person that you're harming for some some of these people right some people actually like to harm people because of either they enjoy it they're psychopaths or maybe they were harmed so they want to inflict that pain that they've been inflicted upon yeah. there's a whole variety of uh, re like paths that people take and also varying degrees and and like uh, on the spectrum of you know yeah things overlaying with people's trauma. So how could you past. be mad at them you know easily but like you know the guy who slept in my car needed a car needed to sleep somewhere he wasn't just like for fun you know what I'm saying okay I'm allowed to be mad and here's why I think so for some for some circumstances um, that I feel like the day and age we live in unfortunately uh, there's people who don't take responsibility for their actions and um, the person who hid in your car or hid in your car who slept in your car and ended up taking the battery and stuff everything that he did I feel is like unethical mm -hmm. completely unethical what he did to you if he was like, I'm sorry, I really need just a place to stay. It's cold. It's raining outside. I'm just going to sleep in your car and then I'll leave. That's not unethical. I'm, that's not as unethical to me. That, it really isn't. But everything else after that is. And people like that, I feel, or the people who scam me. Mm -hmm. It's just not okay, man. It's not okay to do that. There's no responsibility taken. And unfortunately, we live in a state where uh, people get uh, too much leeway. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm not allowed to feel angry. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I'm, mm. I'm just, gen you're just genuinely asking. I'm trying to mm. understand. But uh, there have been people who have maybe thought you in your life were unethical at some points. And does that make you, what, what makes you different from like you to the to other unethical person? You, I have never done anything anywhere close <laughs> to scamming people. That's first. Somebody right. might have called me an asshole. I, I, that that I'll, I'm living with, you know what I mean? Okay. And I'm too blunt or uh, maybe the joke was too mean. Sure. Yeah, okay. And that, that I apologize for to a certain degree uh, right. for some things. Um, but... I have never done anything where I'm predatory towards somebody ever in my life. Yeah. I've never taken advantage of somebody in a predatory manner at all. Right. W why then? W well, no, I mean, just like why? I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out because if, if someone has, right, they have their reason for it being, you know, maybe, you know, growing up, they, you know, were inflicted pain on them so they, now they want to inflict pain on others right right so maybe you you've had p pain inflicted on you as a as a young person but you don't inflict that on others so is the reason for someone else infli inflicting pain on others n not valid there's no reason that's valid even if you experience that 
as a young person. Valid is an interesting choice of word okay. because valid is could be taken as a simple cause and effect kind of situation, uh, devoid of any kind of like whether this was ethical or non-ethical. Yeah. So um, simply stating like there are people for very there, there's too many um, uh, 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 what is it called uh, very um, variables variables that go on. <laughs> As to whether, you know, like two kids who grew up in the same abusive household, one ends up uh, uh, starting a family and they're not abusive. One ends up starting a family and they are abusive. Yeah. Right. There, there are variables because they're not they might live similar life, but it's not the exact same life. Right. It's not. There's genetics that come into play. Yeah. There, there's like other outside influences that come into play. So there's a lot of things that that come into play as to develop a person's path. Right. At the end of the day, though. You're responsible for the cards you're dealt with. Yes. Would you agree to that? Most people. Most people are responsible? Yeah. Well, then what's the, what's the sum? What's the sum? People who have aren't? severe, severe mental, um, mental, uh, uh, mental, uh, what's it called? It's not issues. It's Disabilities? Issues might be actually mental uh, ops. Oh mental health issues but i'm talking about severe ones like somebody who literally has a severe case of schizophrenia like they're hearing voices they're seeing things they don't live in the same reality they literally don't live in the same reality as you and i do right right so somebody like that like whoa that person needs to be you know needs to be taken care of right yeah yeah now if you're prone to like it be emotional you're still responsible for your actions yes that shouldn't be in the same category as being schizophrenic. And that's what I feel a lot of people nowadays do. Right. Okay. They put it in a category of. Yeah. They're like, well, I, I have a little bit of OCD or I'm a little, what, what, it's like, well, that's, that's your, those are the cards you're dealt with, but you're still responsible for your actions. That's yeah. not okay for you to go out and go scam people. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess. What do you mean? I guess. I, I mean, we're, we're. Some pe- like the the domino effect of their entire life has led up to what they do now. Right. If you were to play these people in a in a movie or a show or whatever, you would figure out what are the dominoes that led to here. Okay, and that's it. That's what defines you being there. The dominoes that led up to there, not your choices, I guess, or I guess partially your choices, but like not your partially your choices. Yeah, partially your okay. choices. Um, so, yeah, if you were to play one of these people, mm-hmm. w- would you be thinking, oh, yeah, I'm a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm an evil guy. Depends on the role. Say yeah. that you're playing a scammer person who does the car thing. Uh, that just it depends on the story. It depends on the other variables, which are like how did, did it, does it say in the script how this person grew up? How is their interactions with other people? There's so many variables that will make me decide that. It's not just one or two things. There's a whole culmination of things. The, the situation that happened with you or with your friend. What's the person's name again? Jordan. Jordan. Mm. With Jordan. Um, the situation that happened with them, say you're one of the scammers from that situation. And they don't, you know, that you don't know your entire, they don't give you your entire situation. Okay. So at that, like, could you, would you, yeah, I mean, how would you be mad at them? You can only really get mad at someone if you're like, oh, they're a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Right. Those right. people who do that, because it's so calculative, uh-huh. m- I, I, my instincts say 99% of the time, they know what they're doing is wrong. Yes. They can't go to, they, if, if there's no way they're going, well, this is okay to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is okay to do. No. They know that what they're doing is bad. Yeah. They might lie to themselves and be like, insurance might pay for it. They'll be fine. Mm-hmm. We're not hitting them that hard with the car. Mm-hmm. No. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, but what would, you, lying what would you think as, a, as the character? As the character? What would you think? Because you're I, not like thinking. I, I it, gave you the answer already. It depends. There's too, too many variables going on. It's an audition. You have to make up the 
rest of the stuff. Sure. They just I, I believe the, I'm a bad person, and I might lie to myself at some times and say, yeah, insurance might pay for it, but I know I'm a bad person. And with that being said, okay. I need to cool down. We'll take a quick commercial <laughs> break. And we're back. Dude, I'm <sighs> in a good mood. All right. That's good. I'm glad you got a second to huh, yeah. over that ad break for a second. So what do you want to ask me? Okay. We've got the last little section because we got to wrap this up. Okay. 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 <laughs> He's in his tax rebate, rebate journal. Rebate journal. Okay. Um, do you really think that just because you raised me, you have the authority? Oh, sorry. Gross. Funny. List. Hmm. Uh, okay. Growing up, which was a better school field trip, the Air and Space Museum or the Tulsa Zoo? Ask follow-up questions. Don't read that part. Air and Space Museum? Um, no, no, no. The... In Tulsa? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tulsa Zoo. In the heyday of the Tulsa Zoo. Oh, you've the never heyday. been to the Tulsa Air and Space Museum, have you? N- uh, no, <laughs> I, I have. I am saying the Tulsa Zoo is much better. Okay. You asked a lot of questions about you went to the Air and Space Museum in, in Tulsa? Tulsa? Yeah, because there's other ones. He didn't specify. There mm. is the Tulsa Air and Space Museum. Well, what else would he be talking about? I said growing up, which was a he better school field trip. Well, Tulsa, oh, I'm gonna, Tulsa Zoo still, dude. The zoo's lame. <laughs> not, not when I grew No, 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 no. no. Tulsa All zoos, zoos are lame. What? <gasps> yeah. Peyton. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, the animals are kept in pretty small enclosures, so he's kind of right with that one. But okay. I would say the Tulsa Zoo still. And it's heyday. The Tulsa Zoo in the heyday was the bomb. Yeah? Yeah. The, the chimpanzee uh, exhibit was incredible. The, uh, the elephant exhibit, they had plenty of space, and uh, you could, like, uh, take the this little lever and push down and it showed like an elephant foot how it like smushes and then they had like this like light show with like these mannequins and it was actually kind of real esque of like cavemen trying to hunt down a woolly mammoth and I love pressing the button to make the whole show happen oh wow yeah <laughs> nice yeah that's exactly what I wanted from that question okay um all right a lot of actors talk about you know that that flow state they get into and they're you know they kind of lose themselves in a scene you feel you feel that that high of, of the acting are you supposed to feel that like that every time and when do you personally feel like that uh i don't know if you're supposed to feel it every time i think i mean ideally if we romanticize the idea of acting and performing and trying to tell a story then sure but i don't think that's the case for a lot of people mm-hmm. um for me though i'd say most of the time if it's a well see no because there's a lot of variables that go into that the project the yeah. day um and tv filming is a little different than theatrical filming yeah it's different no it's not every, it, it, you don't the, feel it every yeah time. it's it sometimes you're i think you need to get so good that even on days where um you're not able to get into the flow state you still deliver a great performance yeah that's how that's that's what i believe and there are moments in the piece where you can be really on, but to be in it for the whole time, I think um, mm. is very uh, seldom because of a lot of underlying factors that people don't expect. However, uh, I wouldn't mind changing my mind on that depending on what somebody else brings to the table. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what do you mean someone else, what would they bring? I don't know, if I were having a conversation with somebody about this, I might change my mind about it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Cool. Actually, now I'm changing my mind. You should have it in every time. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Do you have it every time? No. But you should. Yeah. Ideally, so you're. That's what you should be aiming for. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, what? Not nothing. I want to keep my career. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I want to keep my career. Okay. Um, who's your favorite sibling? <laughs> Keep your career, but can you keep your it family? De- and I, it depends. It depends on who's roasting me that day. Mm. And then they're your favorite. And who's cleaned up the dishes? Yeah, that's my answer. Just J.K. Love them both to death, equally. Is J.K. someone's initials in your family? No. Okay. All right. You, you recently voiced a uh, video game character mm-hmm. named Monkey King. In 
Black Myth Wukong. Um, what would you say the difference is in your preparation between voice and screen acting? Uh, and be serious, bro. Well, first I have to figure out if they think they're a <laughs> bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Um, what voice acting versus uh, the difference like, in your preparation? Like, is it the same? You know. Uh, whenever I've done voiceover work, I don't know if it's that different, honestly. It's nice not having to do as much work. That's the thing. Yeah. Like physical work. It's more imaginative. Like I'm just standing around a lot of times. Sometimes I might do a little physical thing. Sit down, stand up, come in running, mm. do a few push-ups. Yeah. Maybe reaching for something. Some physicality, but not much. Yeah. All right. Same thing, just minus the, the, the Yeah, and just so people know, so I don't get, like, flack. I did not voice... The Monkey King from Black what? King Wukong. You didn't? You've been lying to me. This honestly, whole time? oh my gosh. Honestly, I I genuinely like looked it up, and I almost told a few people um, <laughs> because oh, we should have let that happen. Oh. I, I did not know. I mean, why would I? Did, why would you lie about that? I wouldn't know that you lied I about know, that. Also, I'd never heard that? of that game. So when you mentioned it, I was like, okay, you know, it's just this game. You said, yeah, I was what. Did you play? The you need guy to stop being so man. gullible. Like you need to. Like I'm not okay. I'm not gullible. You said you voiced the thing in Black Myth Wukong, and I wanted to know was bro. Is that what you it's need? To, you need to be not so gullible. You need to have some more defensive armor up. Okay? okay. You need to be more skeptical. So that was all just a Black Myth. Yes. <laughs> that sounds racial, when you, the way you said it. <laughs> Well, it's it's not what you think. It's like a, a myth that only a black person would tell. Okay. <laughs> What's one thing you wish you knew when you were 20 years old? When I was 20? Ugh, don't fucking do those uh, three-card Monty schemes, scams. Right. Yeah. Great callback. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, when I was 20? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things. Invest in some stocks. Well, I guess something you would maybe tell, uh, um, like... If you you would tell to your twenty year old self, oh, invest in stocks. If you, okay, someone what you would tell to me now. You now yeah. stop being so gullible. You got to stop trusting people so much. There are predators out there. You have a guardian angel looking after you, and I really mean that. Like I, seriously, you do. Shout out to because like Jesus. you got yeah, big shout out. Yeah, I mean, dude, I don't want it. Like when I heard. You got in the fucking car with the stranger. Do you understand? When my brother came home, you know how I found out about this? You two were both in a Apple, um, what are the, the goggles? The Apple. Apple Vision Pros. Vision Pros. Commercial. Before they came out, commercial for them. so freaking cool. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was, uh, William told me all about it. So great. And he goes, hey, you know who was on set with me? I go, who? He's like, so one of your students, his name is Trent. I was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, did you know? <laughs> and I go, what? <laughs> he told me all about it. I couldn't believe you got in the car. I honestly couldn't believe it. Um, yeah. I was in character. I just want to, just for the v people who are just now coming into that conversation, I was in character for a thing. It was just like a... Who are now coming into the conversation. Who had just jumped into the episode right at the end. Yeah, right at this part. Okay. Yeah, and also I'm in a character a little bit now too. So if I say anything dumb, it's not me. It's the character. Well, who's the character you're trying to uh, work on right now? Uh, R Rudy Clay. Okay. Yeah. What is Rudy Clay? Oh, he's a... Uh, Does he own a leather store in the 1970s? Slam. Well, he's a, he's a, like, he's, he's a boxer. He's a boxer. Trains. What? Yeah. He's, I'm, I mean, he's not boxing right now. Oh, it's a nineteen. He's in the nineteen sixties. <laughs> so shows up in a suit. I'm playing a boxer. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's a boxer. All right. Yeah, yeah. You box at all? Yeah, I've boxed. Okay, cool. Was that it? Was that all the questions? Okay, there's a few more. Um, okay. Oh, last question. What's your favorite color? And answer this question in. 
ethnicities. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Why are you looking at us that way? Don't I'm, do it. I'm. <laughs> I, I, thought, <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought Peyton went like this, like. <laughs> don't. Please don't. Don't, don't do it. So I have to answer it in ethnicity? Or your race or whatever. Yeah. No, that's too much. You're going to get me canceled if I say something. Because it's not going to be like. It's not, I mean, it's going to make someone upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to, we don't want to get in trouble here. Right. Yeah. We walk the line here. We walk the line. Shout Which reminds me. Joaquin Phoenix. That's right. Which reminds me, we can't really say unfiltered as one of the descriptions for the show. I know. I was telling you that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's heavily filtered. <laughs> Is that why the words you came up with was yeah. unfiltered? Yeah. yeah. No. No. Man, we can't use it. Candid. Heavily. Candid is better. You mm. you could you could say filtered, <laughs> slightly filtered, unhinged filtered. Ooh, unhinged. Unhinged, slightly filtered, slightly filtered, <laughs> slightly filtered. It's a actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's actually kind of like slightly filtered. <laughs> slightly filtered real conversations. <laughs> filtered when it gets bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think slightly filtered. <laughs> Real conversations. Because <laughs> that sparks a lot of questions. Right. It what, does, what the filtered. hell is slightly filtered? And when you come yeah. on, you're like, ah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I see it. I see what he didn't say. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Write that down, Alex. <laughs> slightly Was filtered. Was that your last question? Um, no, here we go. Uh, last question. What's the best and worst experience you've had working on a set? Name the people individually who made it bad, and I guess the good ones too. All right. Uh, first one. Best experience. I, I'll give you one of my best experiences was working on NCIS, and Mark Harmon. It was I was still you know a uh, somewhat green actor. I'd done some TV beforehand, but excuse me, bless you. Mark Harmon was so incredibly generous and mm. so uh, welcoming and warm on set, and in between like setups, he actually in a very in a very like uh, mentor type of way, came up to me and the other actor, and he's like, "Hey, would you guys mind if I gave you some like tips for?" Act-? And we we're like, "Yeah, sure." And so he helped us out a little bit with working on the camera, hmm. what to do, and we, you know, I was just like blown away that he would take the time to do, do something that. like that. It was yeah. just really, really incredible. Um, and so yeah, it was. I'm, I I will never forget that. And it's always the best feeling when series regulars especially like if it's a really big show make you feel like they, you feel like one one of them as a guest star yes because you're on the same level there's no egos that's like one of the best feelings ever and it makes you so excited to go to work every single day the uh the 911 cast was very uh gracious to me just like that and uh, everyone who was there for that episode they're so kind and it's so um it's not common or it's not super common to have you know series regulars been doing the show for eight years yeah they don't have to be like that no but they were so um welcoming and just great people overall so yes that makes the experience so much better absolutely um i'll give you my worst experience and i'll mention names um i will say it i don't care okay so as uh, you should uh, so how are we on time Perfect. Um, I had a I had a uh, this thing for a short film, and somebody wanted me to dress up in this like knight, like an armor set. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, what's this? The exact role? He's like, just put on the costume. I was like, okay. (laughs) I just asked him. He's like, he's a real knight, and it looked really cheap and stupid. And he's like, just stand in front of the green screen, act like you're jumping, and act like you're falling, and act like you're like this. Oh wait, you son of a bitch! (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know where you were going with this. No! <laughs> I was like, what the hell are you is talking, talking about? Him? about? <laughs> ah. Yeah. I was like, and then you, it's like, oh, you son of a bitch. I really <laughs> got you. Yeah, I, I did not know what you were talking about. Oh, that's a great way to That was it. ages ago. <laughs> it feels like ages ago. It was. It was uh, for a little uh, 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 horror film. I'll that show you after the thing. Yeah. It came out really funny. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it, Trent. That's thanks it. for coming on, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this was great, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you want to follow Trent Mason, uh, follow his Instagram at 
Trent, T-R-E-N-T with two T's at the end. Great. Uh, uh, check out his podcast, all his stand-up shows, as well as, as, well as his latest acting gigs. Uh, play us out, Peyton. Thank you for tuning into the show. Uh, make sure you follow us at We Sam's World. All new episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube as well. Uh, we're doing some rebranding on YouTube, which will be a lot of fun. And always remember to listen, think, and then talk. Bye.